you mentioned Cisco just now. I mean, how, how does this work with the economic system and IT infrastructure? Because we, we talked about some of the challenges of RFID, the challenges of some of the sort of like, you know, the, the capital estate, if you will, in healthcare. There are some really, really great new facilities in, you know, certainly health that I worked in. There are some older ones as well, which, uh, you know, uh, I know a lot of network engineers and sort of like operational teams will, will understand those buildings, as you said, have got a lot of challenges. So do we need to install new infrastructure? Because that can often be a barrier, can't it? Absolutely. So, um, the short answer is no, but ultimately it's well worth investing in that for the future because the way that Cisco have approached this, which is very smart, is to think about how the wireless, the LAN, the local network and the wireless infrastructure can support IoT at scale. And to do that um, is more than just having a BLE radio. Um, and this is all around, you know, the controllers for these APs and backhauling all of this data out to cloud and third parties and integrations. So all of that is there. Um, the ultimate aim uh, as a long term picture is probably uh, highly recommended to look at the Cisco Wi-Fi 6 Catalyst Cat 9K series infrastructure. Yeah. DNA Spaces is designed for all of this IoT data to pass straight through. Uh, Firehose API for the technical people on the call today uh, and pass that all through so it can go and be computed uh, and have all these rule engines, etc. However, the realistic situation is people have invested in new infrastructure that mm -hmm. still hasn't got there and it might be a few more years to get there. But that's fine because we also have um, a solution that helps with, with network migration. So an older Cisco network was another service that we can offer with a, the with a contact team that allows them to get up and running today. So all of the things that we'll show you um, over the course of this, this morning session is all available to start today. You can pilot it today, anywhere, whatever the state of that network. But ultimately, that's an additional service that, you know, further down the line, you want to start scaling this across maybe one acute site two, yeah. maybe up to the ICS level and broader. Then it's something that, you know, having the right network infrastructure allows you to say, I only have to ask IT once. And I'll never have to ask them again every time I want to add on more IV pumps, more rental beds, more patients, staff. Once you've got the infrastructure and the, the right foundation in place, all of this IoT will just seamlessly drop in over the top and you can scale it. And yeah, you know, the Wi Fi 6 has been around a while now, isn't it? So I, I, I would expect, probably uh, with my IT head on again, that if you've not already got Wi-Fi 6, you'll probably come up to a refresh pretty soon to be able to move to an AP with Wi-Fi 6. And again, if you're using Cisco networking, quite likely you might already be on Catalyst. If you're not using the DNA Spaces features, you know, that's a license upgrade rather than a physical change that you've got to, got to undergo. So, you know, again, I think there's opportunities there just to think about kind of non-disruptive from a, a physical sort of change. So, 